exciting. You want to see what arrived yesterday on the ferry? It's pretty awesome because I had written Total Boat and had asked them if they were willing to provide some copper-free anti-fouling for me for my underwater hull and uh, yeah they agreed for the cooperation and they didn't only send the anti fouling they also send two gallons of primer and in total a three gallon of black uh, copper free anti fouling paint which is awesome thank you so much and they also send along a bunch of little other goodies so I got the stuff in the states so it got shipped down from total boat to Miami then from Miami on the boat to Panama City and from Panama City got picked up by Roger who was the most awesome guy so he picked up the paint from Felipe who offers a really awesome shipping service here if you want to fly stuff in or if you want to ship it in by boat and then Roger brought the whole paint order to the ferry that goes to Viveros where we are right now in the Pearl Islands and along with all of that, he also sent a big food order that we had done and um, order from a hardware store because right now we still can't go, we still don't want to go into the city because of the virus. And uh, when the ferry arrived, obviously, you know, rain and whatnot and a uh, bit of a chaos and also the boxes had gotten a little soaked on the ferry. So <laughs> when we loaded everything into Maria's dinghy minnow, one of the boxes broke on the bottom and stuff went overboards and sank. Now I'm gonna grab all my snorkeling gear and maybe a flashlight and then at low tide I'm gonna head over to the dock and see if I can find whatever we have lost to the bottom of the marina. <laughs> That was everything that was missing because it seems like everything else is there except that resin that was on the bottom here. Well, there is a crocodile here in the space, so that's why <laughs> I'm not so keen on going into the water here. But it seems that it has already been fed today. That left me in peace. <laughs> Okay, we are ready to go to land and check out the area where I want to do the dry fall, potentially. We just had a massive downpour, <laughs> but now the sun is back out, so hopefully it will stay like that. We're on our way to scope out an area where I can let Carl dry fall to put on my new bottom paint. 
because at the moment, due to Corona, I don't really want to go into Marina. Once you go into Marina, your boat can't leave anymore and you're stuck in the Marina for who knows how long. So I'll take advantage of Carl's twin keels and the strong moon tide to get the job done. I built a little DIY portable depth sounder and Maria helped me to scan the area with Minnow. I took a couple of soundings and added them into my Navionics charts. And once I'm done with that, I will take some measurements on land whilst Paul and Maria burn our trash. about half an hour now and I want to see how fast the tide is actually going out to have an idea of how fast I will be dry <laughs> or Carl will be dry. So I'm going to try and take measurements every half an hour more or less in the same spot. Okay, so I took some measurements and I have two spots that I'm thinking about where I might want to put Carl. And I put a little buoy in the sand, kind of like to mark more or less where that area would be or where it starts. And then I also put down some GPS coordinates, but it's always tricky once you start going slow to really go on top of a GPS spot that you want to go on top of. So I'm trying to get some visuals on land and I also have that marker down that kind of like indicates an area where I really don't want to go and it also indicates if I can go further up then I'm going to stay just in front of that bottle if I can't go that far up then I'm going to stay here on this patch where I am right now at least that's the theory Good morning, Paul. Good morning. <laughs> Ready to go? I think so. Ah, I was wondering. That looks not like very much. This looks yeah. okay. We are on our way to Joanna because I want to have a quick little maneuver chat with Paul and Maria so we're all on the same page of what's going to happen once we reach the dry fall spot. I had built a little setup to visualize the movements and Maria had some great suggestions on how to improve the maneuver. Alrighty, ready to head to shore and set up those lines. Luca. We're on our way to shore because we're going to set up the shorelines and a spare stern anchor in case the shorelines are not long enough. You can see this is a good spot for painting because it's very dry. super long but it's been used as a halyard so it doesn't have any stretch at all so that's why I put in these two stretchy dock lines okay so the line does reach from there all the way 
down there just until that rock that we might have to move. <laughs> so that's actually really far out, which is nice. But just in case we can't get that high up, we're putting another stern anchor up here. So that will just give us another couple of meters. Oh yeah, plenty. Come on. Nice. Maria's about to come over. We're about to head over to the dry fall spot. It's a bit exciting. There comes more goodies. <laughs> I see our anchor there. It's floating. You see the little fender? Of course, all days are very windless and today the wind picks up a little bit. <laughs> we even have the foreman with us. We have our little boobies uh, still in the bow. He's coming into the yard with us. What do you think so far, boobs? Hey, boobs, should we head the right way? Yeah, you guys, you're gonna, no, you're gonna drop the anchor right there, and turn up there, and you're gonna spin around, and you're gonna pass that back turn line. Yeah? And check, and what do you think? All good? going in pretty slow. We have about four meters now. I'm doing 1.5 knots, just enough to have some movability because we have some wind. And Paul is on shore prepping the line and he's gonna come out with the stern line. And then we'll see how it's all gonna go. Okay, we still have 2.7 of dirt. Maybe 200 meters from land now. Paul is going to the buoy to wait there with the dinghy with the stern line. Yeah, give it a try! Down, stern line is on. Now we have to move the boat quite a bit more backwards. Paul's going to be on the stern line, and I'm going to be at the anchor, releasing the anchor, and he's going to pull in simultaneously. There you go. Nice job. Hey. Thank you. Nice job, he. Okay, so this is probably, I don't know, 50 yeah, meters? Right. At this point, you're... Can you really see the crocodile now? Dun, 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 dun. Watch out for the TikTok! I think he's on ground. No? Thank you to the most professional crew ever. Okay, so what a smooth maneuver. Big massive thanks to my awesome professional crew. Carl's keels are just touching ground now and he sits some 40 meters from shore. Well, time to get the scrapers out and remove Carl's beard. But more about that soon.